Hello, um, I'm going to do my actually my first uh, iPad app uh, overview. Um, and we're actually going to do uh, Dolphin HD, which is a web browser. Because uh, often, um, since I use Mac uh, based systems as well as Linux, but um, I don't really care for the Safari that much, even on the desktop. So, um, I think this is probably one of the best browsers you can get for the iPad or iPad 2, and we're going to take a look at it. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like by default. And uh, as you can see, speed dial on the left, um, you can kind of like a quick bookmarks. Uh, Webazines, which I'm going to go over here in a minute uh, later on. And obviously you got tabs right here, so you can add a tab, and uh, I guess as many as you need. Uh, supposedly with the iOS 5 coming up, you can, uh, the Safari will have tabs integrated. And if you drag to the right, you're going to see bookmarks here. And obviously you can edit them if you need to add or subtract. And then you just drag to the left. And if you drag to the right, well actually vice versa. For some reason they got this tab bar, but to me, uh, I don't know if how useful that really is. And we're going to go into preferences real quick. And uh, there's a few settings here. And let's go here. One in particular is the desktop mode. And basically what that is, is uh, by default it uses the uh, enhanced for the iPad and or iPhone. But if you just want to uh, go directly to the uh, desktop, it's going to fall uh, pretty much um, like you do on a real computer, desktop computer. It's not going to be, um, you know, reduced down, uh, you know, if you just want all the features of the full-blown desktop web browser type of thing that you would select uh, on, which is, uh, I think, a handy feature. Oh, uh, there's another thing, gestures. You can use gestures on here. And you see a few right here. Um, T, Y, A, up, F, down, and G. And you can create your own. And uh, and here's a lot right here. And uh, let me see if I can choose one of them. And you can actually draw a pattern on there to actually do it too. So uh, that's kind of another neat feature. Now, I think one of the, uh, let me see, I guess that's a gesture list. And you can go over more gestures. And I can't remember, okay, that's just the uh, bookmarks. Uh, one of the greatest features, I think, of uh, other than just being a web browser is um, the webazine and basically it's an RSS feed and I use that every day um, uh, take care of my tech blogs and things and uh, we'll take a look at one of them and uh, let's go to TechCrunch it kind of does it like a uh, magazine style uh, with pictures and I'm going to go ahead and select one of them and uh, kind of gives you the rundown of the uh, the article. And uh, if you look on the bottom, it gets up to nine pages, uh, obviously, on this one. And you can add your own. There's actually a, a blevy of different ones you can choose from, different topics, uh, business, entertainment, fashion, of course, my favorite, science and tech. In fact, we'll look at that one. You can add. RSS feed and it has quite a big list actually of I'll kind of scroll down here and we're also going to look actually at the news because a lot of people like reading the news and uh, actually funny we talked about a uh, um, the uh, The boxy box uh, R W S J. Oops, I didn't actually want to add that one, but and you should be able to just click on it, and you can uh, you hold 
uh, you touch it and hold it, and then you can obviously delete it. And just like that. Of course, you can go full screen, uh, get more uh, real estate that way. And uh, obviously, now it's got some integrated ones, uh, Twitter and Facebook. Um, it's, to tell you the truth, I don't know if I really like this style or not. Uh, obviously, you get to have to activate it with your Twitter or Facebook account. I kind of like the uh, the old style um, better. So, uh, I prefer to use a standalone iPad version straight from Twitter itself. And uh, so, that's pretty much it. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, Must-have app on the iPad. Uh, probably one of the best web browsers out there for now. Um, possibly uh, with iOS 5 coming out, maybe Savire will um, get a better browser. But until then, I uh, suggest you uh, definitely check it out.